Now to a person as a see the dodi sharad e chaner chegid in in hanod hanod the old car a kudi silver dani choir bangloni bodemini dod atoni. Um, our next special guest speaker, ladies and gentlemen, uh, put your hands together, please. A big mirth of welcome to the one and only Eddie Butler. Independence in the air. This special place, this crucible of protest. I come from half an hour away off the mountain, from Monmouthshire, not a centre of revolution. Not really Welsh at all. So it is said, how easily we, even we, find the things that keep us apart. Well, I have been lucky in my life to have been to just about every corner of this land of ours and it is my simple conclusion that there is far more that binds us together than keeps us apart. And what is it that we are bound into? We are bound into a distinct people, distinct of sound, the Welsh language, which is not only a language in its own right, but which influences the English that so many of us speak to the extent that we are recognisable wherever we go as being from Wales, even me. <laughs> is it enough to be distinct? There are plenty of places where English is spoken with an accent. There are plenty of places that do scenery like ours. Is it enough to be distinct? It is more than enough. It is the very essence of what makes people want to strive to control their own lives. Do we have it here? I have sat in rugby changing rooms about to go out and play England. And we raise a spirit of defiance for this one game above all, to beat England, for taking without giving back, for there not being one trace of Wales, not the tip of a dragon on the flag of their union. Oh, to beat England. And I have been amazed that this spirit of defiance has been confined to the sports field. Amazed and dismayed. We could barely bring ourselves. We could barely bring ourselves to vote in favour of assuming authority for certain aspects of our lives. Devolution is no revolution. We are distinct, but we have not been very defiant. My parents came to Wales after the Second World War from England. Their notion of being British was defined by the war. My father came to work in, in a brand new factory in Pontypool, simply called the Nylon, BNS, British Nylon Spinners. But it was the war that made them identify themselves. At the outset, at its outset, they were teenagers. By its end, they were part of the war effort. My mother served in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. She was on duty on the night of the Nuremberg Raid, the worst night in the RAF's history. More air crew were killed in one night than in the entire Battle of Britain. And it was the night that her twin brother was killed. There was a toll, there was a price to pay.
but there was a spirit of defiance and my parents felt that being British was to be part of one united Britain that stood against a terrifying ideology. Well, the United Kingdom that made my parents proud to call themselves British no longer exists. The nylon in Pontypool lies empty, abandoned, as derelict as Elm House, the old clubhouse of my beloved Pontypool Rugby Club. And for extreme ideologies, look no further than Westminster. This today is, is not entirely political, not yet. We are here together simply to be together on the road which may be long. But there is a political question to ask. Out of Westminster as it is, out of Westminster as it will be after all the convulsions and contortions, what good will be coming the way of Wales? No good. Out of Westminster, nothing good will come from Wales. Oh, there may be some crumbs to take the edge off our defiance. But what real good? No good. Nothing. But nothing is good. Nothing is a blank canvas. Every small nation that has cast itself free of a neighbour, however mighty, has begun with a blank canvas. Holland, from the Empire of Spain at its grandest. Finland, from the empires of Sweden and Russia. Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Belgium, Denmark, and above all, the free Irish state, they all began. They all began with a blank canvas. The will to be free. Oh, Edmund, it can't be done. Well, here we are, in Merthyr, birthplace of an uprising. And here's somebody from half an hour away from a place that's not really very Welsh, who joins you to say, yes, it can. Thank you. Eddie Butler!